Namaste everyone and welcome back to Live Stronger. Today we are going to work on our back. I am going to start with the greatest stretch, 5 repetitions on each side followed by a deep squat, the regular dynamic stretching which I have been doing since the beginning always. If you prefer you can do any other dynamic stretches which you know it's absolutely fine. The only thing you need to do is make sure a couple of minutes, 2 to 5 minutes at least is a routine of dynamic stretching included in your workout. Dedicate those 5 minutes and it will help you a long way to ensure you have the right mobility and also you are properly warmed up for your workout. You need not do any kind of cardio, the warm up sets will be kick in but if you do prefer to do cardio, a 5 minute of any machine, rowing, treadmill, cycling, elliptical, anything which you want, you can do it to get your heart beat up. After the greatest stretch, we sit in a deep squat pushing our glutes far behind, feeling the hamstring stretch and sit there for a few seconds. Again, something which you can do at any point of day. I prefer to do it pre-workout. I am going to start off the first exercise with dumbbell pullovers, couple of warm-up sets and then we go into working sets wherein we do 4 sets of 10 repetitions at length and partial repetitions. So basically I am never going to bring the dumbbell completely forward. I am always going to keep my lat at a stretch so that the work is continuously happening and just small moments of contraction so my muscle is constantly being challenged to stay there to not let my shoulders you know basically get dislocated but no that's nothing I'm just exaggerating but yes nothing as such is going to happen as long as the weight is under control you just have to focus on keeping the dumbbell behind your head and keeping your lat stretch here you can see once my shirt is off, how my back muscles or the lat fibers just under my armpit area getting stretched out as the dumbbell goes behind my head as close to the ground as possible. Remember, if you feel any kind of discomfort or you're not able to pull the dumbbell, you just need to drop it. Nothing is going to go wrong. It's safely going to fall on the floor. And make sure you don't get the dumbbell above your head. Always keep it behind your head. That's where the most amount of work is happening. Here I can see as my arms stretch behind, my fibers are my back fibers are getting stretched out, and as I try to bring them closer, they get contracted, and that's more than enough where we want to stay. After completing those, after a minute break, I move on to face pulls. I haven't done this in a long time. Nothing wrong with them. Absolutely the best exercise. Just took some time for me to incorporate in my routine. Three sets. 20 repetitions with short breaks of 30 to 45 seconds in between. We have to make sure the repetitions are done in absolute control. Always lead with your wrist. So as your elbows start coming back, then you have to take your wrist and start making a back double bicep pose basically. So you take in your wrist and turn them behind as much as possible, creating a great amount of squeeze. You want to squeeze so hard that you should start feeling a little bit of discomfort in your back as you can see how my back has started to turn red as I squeeze harder and harder more blood starts accumulating and that's what you want to do you want to work your traps to almost near failure with control controlled repetitions and remember to always stretch out let the cable go as far out as possible let your shoulders completely open up come forward and then from there you pull back the cable should be always in tension never let the cables tension go away that means you're always pulling onto the weight. Post completing the face pulls, thank God for this attachment which my gym has just got. I could now do lat pull downs, wide grip, comfortably without much of my forearm and bicep getting activated in this neutral grip position. So we are going to do three sets of these, 20 repetitions, challenging weight, slow and controlled manner. As the weight goes up, you slightly, you know, lean forward and as you pull the weight back you slightly lean back to get that extra bit of squeeze you always lead with your elbows you want your elbows pushing into your hips so that's what i'm trying to do here and getting that amazing amount of lat stretch and contraction here you can see clearly from the side angle how i stretch my lats out as the weight goes up and then as i pull it back i create maximum amount of contraction by driving my elbows into my lower back region. Remember, the more control you have on the weight, the more efficient the repetitions are. It's okay if you're falling short of a couple of repetitions because of the control, but make sure you have control. Don't let the momentum take away. And of course, take a weight which is always challenging you. 
don't go extremely heavy or don't go too low on the weight post completing my lat pull downs we move on to single arm dumbbell rows now here is a take you can do this in a standing position like i am doing here just leaning a little bit forward taking support and going one arm at a time using straps or gloves to have your comfort but if you feel a little bit stressed out on your lower back or it is not letting you do it freely you can always take support of an inclined bench like here i am doing put the working side leg up and the non working side leg down so you get a proper tripod like position and from there start rowing with one arm at a time always remember you want to row with your palms facing back towards the ceiling and elbows flared out you always want to get the dumbbell as high up as possible towards your hip and keep it as close as possible it's not possible to bring it absolutely close because you're going to hit yourself with the dumbbell but yes keep it as close as possible and then push it back into the air while keeping your elbows flared out as much as possible post completing the dumbbell rows i moved on to my calf raises on the leg press machine two sets 50 repetitions if you're able to go higher please go just hit absolute failure in a slow controlled manner i just used a yoga mat on the leg press platform just to make the surface a little bit softer and comfortable for me to do because it's a uh, i would say a flat surface which oftentimes causes discomfort because i'm training barefoot so i just put a yoga mat there to give me a little bit of cushioning nothing else see as you can see here so you can do that too if you feel the surface is hard and it's hurting you a little bit on the underside of your foot on the platform you can obviously put a cushion or a yoga mat to give you a little bit of that cushioning to get done if you're wearing shoes it doesn't really matter because the shoes are already providing enough amount of cushioning always make sure you drop your heels as low as possible absolutely stretch your calf muscle out and from there push it up to the complete contraction in a controlled manner so that maximum amount of work is being done by the muscle and not by the tendons make sure you try to reach the target of 50 repetitions and we are going to finish off are back with the last exercise neutral grip pull ups two sets as many repetitions as possible with full range of motion so you drop down completely and when you pull up you pull up to your chin level the bar should come to your chin level and you should feel the lats getting squeezed out make sure you always come down completely release all the tension and from there you pull back up you can use straps you can use any kind of support which you prefer to do because our focus is training our back not our forearm strength so go ahead and use any aid aiding device to help you get as many repetitions as possible and that's it we are done with our back workout thank you so much for watching we are going to finish off with a vertical hang stay there for as many seconds as possible minutes is a long stretch to stretch out our back again since we are focusing on the stretch if you want you can use any kind of cushioning material to help you hang on to this stretch as much as possible Thank you so much for watching. If you did like the video, please do drop a like. If you haven't yet subscribed to the channel, please do subscribe. Any feedback in the comment section is very much appreciated. I'm glad that you're watching this video. I hope the workout was effective and quite informative. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Have a nice day.